Hi there, uh, Murray Gans from Irving, Texas. Um, I kind of have to laugh when I filmed the first part of this video. It was a Sunday afternoon, it was about 78 degrees, I'm bragging about how wonderful the weather in Texas was, and then that night it dropped about 40 degrees and we had ice. So uh, that's why I'm filming the introduction to this particular video inside right now. It's, it's 30 degrees outside and miserable. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use the two techniques we talked about before, which are coiling and pinch pots, to make a little monster. Uh, which is a real simple little project um, and a lot of fun. Um, now this is, video is going to be uh, run about 10 minutes, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it into, into two parts. So here we go, making the first little monster. That's pretty good. So we're going to start with this. We're going to start with a little piece of clay. We're going to roll it into a ball like this, and uh, we're going to start a pinch pot. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just turn this and pinch in with my thumb. Finger on the outside. I'm going to make a real small pinch pot here. Keep going all the way around. Keep turning it. A little bit of a pinch as we go. I'm going to use my left hand here. Turn it with my right hand. You can you can do this quite quite quickly. This doesn't have to be uh, very uniform. Our final product isn't going to be a bowl, so uh, we can just keep doing this until we get it pretty even throughout. So what I've got here is I've got a, a little bowl, a little pinch pot bowl here, which I'm, I worked on. Now there's a couple things. First of all, for my for the project I'm using here, it doesn't matter that this, this is all um, cracked in here. But if you don't like those cracks, I've got a little little container of water here. Just take a little water with your finger, and you can you can rehydrate that as you as you stretch the clay out. It um, it's going to crack, but you can you can fix that if you want to. This project's not important, but just to show you this real simple little technique here, smooth it on out. You can use a sponge if you want to. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to take this little bowl and we're going to, we're going to make a little monster out of it. So what we're going to do, we'll take this and I'm going, to, I'm going to pinch it in like this to make kind of a nose, if you will, and a mouth. Um, like this, and I'm going to smooth that together with my finger right there. And so now we've got a little mouth. So you've got a, if you can imagine this, this is the head of a little monster here. You can see we've got it where my fingers are here. We're going to put the eyeballs right there. Here's a little nose. A, a, a little trick. The nose goes up kind of funny like that. So I'm going to take uh, my needle tool here. I'm just going to cut that nose off like this. Notice that, that actually does look something like a nose right there. And I'm going to stick it, I'm going to dip this in a little bit of water. And I'm going to, I'm going to just wiggle it right back on there like that to give the guy an actual, it's more like a nose in this back. Again, there's no there's no special way. You're gonna you're gonna have to use your imagination. Use a bit of water here to smooth this out. Make it all stick very nicely. So in this guy, this guy's now we've got a guy with a mouth and a nose. So let me even this out just a little bit. Okay, so now we've got a guy with a mouth and a nose. Now I like to work on a little piece of wood. Uh, we'll set him down on this little piece of wood right here. That way I can I can move him around and, and he's gonna be a little bit fragile or soft because we're working totally in soft clay here. This is this is freshly freshly wedged soft clay. So uh, once we get him set, we don't want to move him too much. So we'll push him aside for now. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of feet for this little guy. Um, we'll take another piece of clay like this and we're going to again do a, do a ball. Like that little nice little ball of clay. Size of a big shooter marble thing here. I'm going to throw it down here on the table like that. And then I'm going to cut it in half with my needle tool, like this. Okay, and that's going to that's going to give me a couple little feet here for my little guy. I'm going to smash these guys around, like this. Round them off so they look like a little foot. There's one little foot there. Do the same thing over here. I'm going to go off, smash him down a little bit. Bring him back like that foot like this. Now we got we got two feet, not exactly the same size, but what the heck, doesn't really matter. It's a monster. He's not supposed to be perfect. He's supposed to be monstrous. So what I'm going to do now, bring my board about it back out here so we can work on the board. Uh, we're going to just stick these together. I'm going to dip one in the water. Got that part right, wet right there, and I'm just going to push these guys together. The uh, really wet clay seems to, seems to stick together just fine. I'll give a little definition to the back here with a needle tool so that you can see that they're separate feet. Just like that. So there's there's two little feet. Then we're gonna, what we're going to do is now attach the the head to these little feet, like like this. 
okay? Pull this back a little bit. I'm going to turn a little bit so I can see it. So I'm going to take a little bit of water here from my water bowl. Put it right there on top of the feet, and I'm going to reach in and just, just secure that. Now you want to just push it down and wiggle it around a bit. Okay, so now we get the, the monster secured to his, to his feet. Like that. 